here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number one where we are going to start a new topic that is double integrals and this video is very 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 important because in this particular video we are going to discuss in detail about double integrals basically if you watch this video you will have a very good idea about how to solve problems based on double integrals in this particular video we are going to uh, see three different cases and uh, in all three cases we will be discussing in detail what should be our approach towards the problem based on this topic and uh, if you go to video number two to six you will find five different problems where we are solving problems on this topic so let us start let's suppose we have this particular integration that is i equals to integration limits is from x1 to x2 integration limit is from y1 to y2 function is f of x comma y we are integrating this with, uh, with respect to x and y okay so we are writing here that is dx dy so suppose this is y integration now we are going to see case number one in detail in the first case you can see when y1 y2 are functions of x y1 y2 are functions of x and x1 x2 this y1 y2 both are function of x x1 x2 are constant means here the x1 x2 will be treated as constant in that case function x comma y whatever the function given in the problem is first integrated is first integrated with respect to y keeping x as fixed because we are considering since we are integrating with respect to y we will consider x as constant between the limits y1 and y2 for that we will use the limit y1 y2 and then the resulting expression after integrating that whatever the expression is left the resulting expression is then integrated with respect to x whose limit ranges from x1 to x2 okay i am repeating this once again suppose in the problem y1 and y2 both are functions of x and x1 x2 are constant in that case this y1 y2 is a function of x and x1 x2 are constant suppose that is given in the problem in that case whatever the function given in the problem that is function of x comma y is first integrated with respect to y when we will integrate this function with respect to y we will consider x as fixed that is constant and integrate with respect to y and we will use the limit that is y1 to y2 between the limits y1 to y2 and then after solving this whatever the resulting expression is left it is then integrated with respect to x whose limit is from x1 to x2 okay in that case how we need to write the this integration part because the order of this plays a very important role okay so we need to write that is i equals to i which is my integration i equals to integration the limit is constants are yes constant limits are of x that is x1 to x2 and y1 y2 are function of x here we can write y1 which is a function of x here we can write y2 which is a function of x then we will write whatever the function given in the problem that is f of x comma y then this is the limit of this is the limit of y and this is the limit of x okay this is the limit of y this is the limit of x since this is the limit of y so we will write here dy then after solving this we will use this limit when we are differentiating when we are integrating with respect to x that means first we will solve this okay then whatever the expression is left then we will integrate with respect to x whose limit is from x1 to x2 i am repeating this once again this is a very important part when x2 when y1 and y2 are functions of x and x1 x2 are constant in that case f of x comma y is first integrated with respect to y keeping x fixed between the limits y1 y2 and then the resulting expression is integrated with respect to x within the limits x1 x2 here this is the limit for y and this is the limit of x so we will first uh, integrate this uh, function with respect to y we will use this limit after solving this whatever the expression is left we will integrate with respect to x and the limit 
that is that will be used is from x1 to x2 this is very important now after this we will come to the second case the second case says this is the this is almost similar to the first case in place of x we will put y in place of y we will put x so the case number 2 says when x1 x2 are functions of y in this case the x1 x2 are functions of y the limits and the limit that is y1 y2 are constant in this particular case x1 x2 are functions of y and y1 y2 are constant in that case what we need to do is simply whatever the function given in the problem that is function of x comma y is first integrated with respect to x keeping y fixed between the limits x1 x2 and then the resulting expression is integrated with respect to y within the limits y1 y2 okay this is just the similar case as we have seen in the first case but in place of x we will put y and in place of y we will put x so when x1 x2 are functions of y and y1 y2 are constant in that case function x comma y is first integrated with respect to x and while integrating with respect to x we will keep y as constant then after integrating we will apply limits that is from x1 to x2 okay and then whatever the resulting expression is left we will integrate that with respect to y whose limit ranges from y1 to y2 in that case you can say how to write integration that is i equals to constant limits y that is y1 to y2 here x1 x2 are functions of y so here we can write x1 which is a function of y okay which is a function of y here x2 which is a function of y okay so this is y limit this is limit for y this is limit for x y limits are constant x limits are function of y then function x comma y now here since here we have the limit for x so first we will write dx and then we will write dy it means first we need to solve this part okay first we will solve this part that is we will integrate this function with respect to x then apply limit x1 x2 which is a function of y whatever the resulting expression is left we will integrate the resulting expression with respect to y whose limit ranges from y1 to y2 and y1 y2 both are constants this is the important part in the case number 2 so we can say after dealing with this topic that is case number 2 we'll come to case number 3 which is again very 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 important the case number 3 says when both the pairs of limits are constant here y1 y2 x1 x2 in case number 1 is in case number 1 we had x1 x2 as constant y1 y2 function of x in case number 2 we had y1 y2 as constant x1 x2 as a function of y but in case number 3 we are having these two constant these two again constant okay these two values are constant these two values are again constant so when pairs of limits are constant the region of integration is always a rectangle suppose yes here i have drawn that that is this x lim this is x axis this is y axis suppose all the four points that is y1 y2 x1 x2 they all are positive so i am talking about the first quadrant suppose this is my x1 and this is my x2 similarly this is my y1 this is my y2 okay on intersection of all the points that is x1 x1 y1 x x2 y1 x1 y2 y2 x2 okay here we had four intersection points on joining all the four points you will get a rectangle okay but this part is not important what is important for us is suppose yes how to write this integration part okay or how to approach such integration i mean how to solve such integrations so here limit is suppose a to b again constant again limit is from c to d okay this is my function x comma y and this is dx dy suppose this type of integration is given in the problem in that case what we need to do is since here we had dx 
so we will consider this as a limit of x if this is the limit of x then this will be limit of y i am repeating this once again first we will talk about this part okay first we will talk about this part if this is dx then this is the limit of the limit for x after solving this whatever is left okay that is whatever the expression is left we will solve that for yes we will solve that for y and this will be the limit for y okay so we can say first we will integrate this function with respect to x limit limit is from c to d which is limit of x then whatever the expression is left we will integrate that with respect to y whose limit is from a to b so we can say this is the limit for x and this is the limit for y okay now if you go to the playlist you will find this this all these problems that is in next video we will be solving this question number 1 in this we will solving this two basic problems then in video number 3 we will be solving this this problem is very 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 important okay so in video number 3 we will be solving this problem in video number 4 we will be solving this problem and in video number 5 and 6 we will be solving these two problems okay these two problems are very 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 important basically in this video we will you will have a very good idea about strips where to use how to use vertical strip and horizontal strip so let us start with the first problem that is this in the next video thank you thank you so much